the concept of segmentary on values with an example uh, with this question being the example so in this question so okay let's so it, i'm assuming you know basic segment trees so the basic segment tree we know is what i'll call a segment tree on indices so the typical problem formulation for a segment tree problem is we've been given an array and uh, we need to find the minimum uh, element present in l2r this query l2r and we can this range query let's say this range minimum query and one operation we can have is update pose this value so update this is pose index update this value i mean change this value to value this is the uh, second operation we need to do so this is the operation one this is the operation two two operations are supported in segmentary on indices now what we observe here is the array on which we perform these operations the indices of the array stay the same so we've been given this array a on which we are performing these two operations okay now with this out of the way let's see what segmentary on values means consider a question that uh, consider the question we are solving uh, the lis problem so that is find the longest increasing subsequence uh, in the present in the array so the way we do this is dpi is equal to let's let's say dpi represents the maximum that is the lis length end of a sequence ending at i exactly at i dpi is equal to maximum of dpj plus 1 for all j less than i and for all uh, aj less than ai this is the formulation now in a naive implementation of the dp we'll end up with the order of n squared complexity we want to optimize it then we can use a segmentary on values the way we do this is uh let's say okay let's say we are at index i we are at index i and we need to find how many indices from 1 to i minus 1 exists such that the uh value present at that index is less than the value present at i and we need to find the maximum of all the dpjs for all such js so let's make another array we'll call that arr uh okay one more thing we'll consider is ai let's say that ai all the ais range from 1 to m range in this range now we'll make an array One to up to M, and uh, okay, and this this array will use to uh, answer the queries, answer this query. So query L to R in this array would mean give us the maximum value of and all these elements store the DP of I values. query lr means the maximum value present in the range l to r update pose with value means update this position let's say this position with value val okay this is the structure we'll be using for segmentary on values now uh, the code the way we solve this is for i i is equal will uh, use a loop For i is equal to one, i less than equal to n, i plus plus uh, dp of i would be uh, query zero. Oh, sorry, one two a i minus one. So this gives us the maximum value of uh, dp j. maximum value of dp dp present in the indices uh, among present among all the indices such that for that index j aj is less than ai 
So this is basically what this represents. And once we have DPI, we can directly do update. And we want to update the ith. So the a we want to update uh, like ai in this whatever index in this array ai represents we want to update that to dp of i yeah this is the funda uh, let's take another example now moving on to the question we had at hand so we've been given an array for each index i we need to find the number of indices towards the right such that a j is less than number of indices j greater than i such that a j is less than i a j is less than a l yeah this is what it means so uh, first of all here what, what we assume that a i is in the range 1 to m what if m is very large so let's say m is of the order of 10 power 15 we can't do this right we can't make an array of size n. Then we use size compression. Why we can use it? Because uh, since there are total n elements, the since there are total n elements, the number of unique elements must be less than or equal to n. And hence, every so if let's say for example elements are one or let's say eight. 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. These are the elements. We can compress them to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Such that ordering between elements remains the same, but the range is compressed. And we are just bothered with the ordering because we need to. So, even in this question, for smaller, we just need the ordering to be preserved. This transformation does not. Uh, hamper with the ordering of elements and hence this transformation is safe to use yeah so once this is done once this transformation is done we can ensure that the array will the so this is a arr will be forming to answer queries the ans the size of arr would also be less than equal to n this is being ensured by compression uh, yeah so this is the code to compress cnt is the number of distinct elements we could have uh, kept n or n here, but it doesn't matter. CNT is more efficient. Now, moving from right to left, will moving from right to left answer for this particular index would be uh, the number of elements in ARR. So this is query is on ARR. Remember, we've been given the array A. Let's call nums as A, and this query is on the array ARR that we are building uh, like implicitly so query by query we are finding the number of elements in ARR from indices in ARR uh, 0 to index in ARR MP, MP nums i minus 1 so we need to find the number of elements present in this range in AIR once that is done that is the answer for this particular index and then we just increment the number of we just increment the number of elements present at this index in ARR yeah and uh, this is the code for incrementing the, val the value present at this index this is a simple query so the code is like it's very similar to is exactly similar to the standard segmentary codes code but the only thing is we are not building a segmentary on the indices directly we're first building a, a second array from the given array uh, and then we're building a segmentary on top of that array or equivalently we can also say that we are building a segmentary on the values of array a 